why are you still in yellow range? Well, what I have behind me here is the replay system in Tekken 8. And as you just see, let's go up to the top. Currently, I sit at... I'm in red rank right now with Azucena. And I'm just going over, I'm reviewing my yellow ranked matches. I just wanted to help you guys out and see why you're still in yellow ranked, why you might be stuck. I have a yellow ranked match here. And we just start off with reason number one why maybe you're still stuck in yellow ranked. I would say you're definitely, your mindset is probably still stuck on playing like a green rank. Like a little bit Kazuya here, he's gonna do this, uh, the jumping, damn jumping spin kick more than once. And it's gonna catch me a few times. But what you don't see is my mind understanding that that's happening and then I have to adjust after that. And that's what I need you to do in order to get out of yellow ranks. Most of these people in yellow ranks are just doing the same moves over and over again. Look, I punished. It wasn't my best punish, but I punished it. All you've probably been doing is allowing them to use the same moves on you over and over again. And you keep getting caught by them. And that leaves you stuck there because you're losing your matches. And that could be a huge reason why you're like, just not breaking through to get past yellow. Get ready for the next and don't worry, don't get too locked into the matches behind me. I'm not like leaving one up. Maybe at the end of the the video but I'm just using them in the background for just a little reasonings but another reason is you're not using the you're not widening your move set enough when you play this game you feel me this is an MK them same uh, like three moves of doom don't work like you gotta use something else if your shit ain't working you feel me Tekken is rough like that. You gotta, I don't know, find a way to get a counter hit in. Find a way to uh, make somebody whiff. Get that launcher on somebody. Like, you have to find a way to get in. And there's ways, like, you just throw too, you know what I mean? Like, there's other options than just straight up hitting people. Utilize that. As I tear apart this Reyna, like, in the background, I am amazing sometimes, you know? Just, just kidding. Now, I don't think I have a very good example of uh, this in a replay, or at least I haven't found one, but uh, using heat on your opponents, are you guys even, like, doing that? And I mean, I do mean effectively. So let's just, let's just dive into the lab real quick. D just real quick. Just bear with me. Alright, so we're in my new practice arena because I like to splash in the water, okay? You see? Well, we got wall rain here. And we are on the heat system. Okay. So, are we using it? Nope. Are we still blocking? Yeah, we are. But I just, I just gotta, I gotta know in yellow ranks, how are you guys using your heat, man? Like, are you like, because the way I've seen it used, it just hasn't made sense. It seems more like a, uh, I don't even know what to call it, bro. Like a jump scare. Like, you're just gonna throw it out. I'm on defense and you're just like gonna basically throw on more defense and that's fine you can do that you can also uh, crush with the move it's outstanding it's great but I need to I need to see it more in combos I need to see it more in wall carry I need to see like more <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna give it like a little example a little something like you know your boy you can cook a little bit and you know we we got a little gas there, and that, that's that's a little something. That's just small. Pause. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're getting a little bit of gas cooking with it. Oh, and I, I missed the ending, but you you got the picture. You feel me? But it's just something that you should use more often, just to extend a little combos a little bit. If there's a wall here, it'd probably help a little bit. But it's just something that can help you. Just extend your combos a little further. Uh, do wall carry a little further if there's walls available, obviously. And if you have rage, man, you can do rage with it too. Oh good, I thought I dropped it, but I didn't. We're still going. But look at the look at the rage, bro. Like, it's beautiful. And this will do about I think this is the 105. Yeah. 105 for that one. 
That's not terrible damage, man. That's not bad at all. That's just using, like, that's with the rage and the heat. But now I want to show you without, um, without using the, the full amount of heat. After you, uh, you use that first initial, like, stompage, you know what I mean? You use that. You use your rage. What are you left with? You're, you're left with just the heat meter going down, right? You can't cancel these, huh? No. But you're left with the heat meter just going down. But now we have this. What do we do? Whoa, what are we doing? We're doing this now, like, you still have, you basically have two rages to use, and I don't see people using that, and that's what I'm trying to say, bro. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I don't see it enough, and I want to I wanna start seeing it. I feel like this will literally blow somebody's mind at the fact that they probably didn't even know you can do this. And look, you can still do more. I, you can even do a rage art off of that too, and that actually does more damage than uh, the other one. I'm just saying, it, it's a, uh, it's pretty cool, bro. I'm gonna see if I can pull it off though. One time. I didn't do it. All right, I'm gonna see if I pull it off one time. Oh, we got it. All right. And see, you did like a little bit more damage, but I think it goes to 110. I'm not sure. I believe I got 115 one time. I don't remember though. I was 109. Okay, they got me. 109. Just for adding in like the heat system, bro. And I'm telling you, it's something that needs to be explored further by pros, y'all, myself. Like everybody needs to explore it more. Another thing that we can talk about why you're possibly not leaving yellow reigns is your own frustration. You're getting very upset with your losses. And, bro, trust me. Trust me, I get it. I 100% understand the frustration in playing these damn games, bro. I get it. You lost. Someone sit there and just hit you with that. <clears throat> that fucking Shimmerda Dance tea bag, bro. And it just pisses you off. I get it. I understand. But you know what? At times like that, you gotta put the controller down, shut off the game or something, just relax, go watch a YouTube video, go watch one of my YouTube videos actually, go check out something on the channel bruh, like, just relax bruh, let me get frustrated for you, you feel me? One more thing before we go bruh, I know the real reason why y'all stuck in these yellow reins bruh, and let me show you bruh, I got this on live video tape, hold up bruh, let me get there, let me get there. Get ready for the next so it's my first match into yellow rain, right? And look at this, bro. Look at this. That motherfucker right there, bro. You know what that is, bro. You know what that is, bro. That's that damn Boosie Fade, bro. Come on now, dog. Them Boosie Fade people online were going nuts. That's the real reason why y'all losing online for uh, Yellow Rings. But you know how you deal with them, bro? Use the tips I just gave you and deal with them. They are not impossible to defeat. I promise you. This one does defeat me though. It was my first encounter with them. They are dangerous. They are very dangerous. But I'll probably let y'all watch the rest of this match, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope the tips help you. I really hope they help people, bro. I'm just trying to speak a language. Hopefully you all understand. But watch this wall rain uh, violate me with this boosty haircut. So I'll see y'all around. Catch y'all next video. Go watch some more. I'll catch y'all later, man.